Hi there, my crafty friends. It is Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamp Day F. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I am introducing a new series this week. So, so, so excited. It is called Creating for Christmas, and it is going to be a weekly segment that will help us all get prepared for Christmas. So whether it be a gift card, a greeting card, packaging, or you name it, we are going to create it. So... As our introductory segment, we are going to use lots of cheer. It's a super cute stamp set from the annual catalog. And I think when the holiday catalog gets near, we tend to forget about the annual catalog. But check this out. I mean, there's these great hand-drawn images, <laughs> perfect for coloring. There's some really cute samples. And I mean, I just couldn't resist this little snowman. So let's make a cute little non-traditional gift card holder. So I have got a sheet of Flirty Flamingo DSP from the Brights collection, and I have a top folding A2 card base. Now right now it hasn't been scored, so I'm gonna bring in my Simply Scored and we are going to get our craft on. So to make this an A2 card, we need to score at five and a half, which is what we would normally do, but we're also going to add another score line at two and a half. So that is all our scoring done. And like I said, I've got my six by six piece of DSP. We're just gonna cut that down. So we're going to use the gingham side and we're going to cut it down first to four inches so that I can use this two inches on another project. Now we're going to turn it and we're going to cut our first piece at two and three quarters. And the next one is two and a quarter, which leaves us with a one inch piece. And that's all the cutting, that's all the paper we need. So we're going to start, I'm not going to score this and fold it yet. You can use your adhesive of choice. Mine is Tombow. So just cover that. Be sure that you get the edges because you don't want them popping up. And that goes on our first little scored section. Just eyeball it, line it up. And then we're gonna take our two and a quarter piece Place that down and line it up. And we need our one inch circle punch and we're just going to create a little thumb notch. So just line it up, eyeball it or measure it. Pop that out. And now we are ready to fold and burnish. Again, using your adhesive of choice, it can be tear tape, it could be liquid adhesive. We're just gonna hold that down, let that set for a moment. And now we can set this aside while we work on, actually, nope, we're gonna adhere this piece. Now, if you're working on a colored card base, you would need a Whisper White mat. So four by five and a quarter, and you would just glue this on there. But since I am working on Whisper White, I'm just going to put it directly on here. A little bit of glue sneak out at the end, so we'll let that dry and then I'll erase that. I'm gonna zoom in a bit more. Now I have a piece of Whisper White. I've already cut an oval out of this, but we are going to use some ovals. So I store mine on this, um, it's just an acrylic frame with some magnetic sheet. So I use the second largest oval and the largest scallop die. Sorry about the glare, I thought it was bright enough out that I wouldn't need my lights, but it was just too dark. So I'm just gonna run that through the Big Shot. It's time for me to get new plates. Really, 
really, really, really. I also want a scalloped oval, so we'll use a piece of Florida Flamingo, and I'm cutting it in the middle so that I can still use this as a mat if need be. Okay, so now we can get to stamping and coloring. So I'm going to be coloring with blends, so I want to use Memento ink. We're using the adorable little snowman. And it just fits on here. There we go. And while we still have this out, we might as well do our sentiment. So I am using the May or Christmas Be Wrapped in Holiday Spirit. And we will use Flirty Flamingo for that. The memento would just be too stark against that nice light color. So we're stamping right on our card base, so I always like to just test my stamp out on a piece of scrap. Maybe nice even in the stamped off version. Let's do that. There we go, nice and pretty. Now you're probably thinking, uh, you can see that, but don't you worry. I have thought ahead. I know, not my usual, right? Not my go-to. Okay, so we are going to color with Flirty Flamingo and also Pool Party. I'm just going to use this piece of scrap to color on just so that any excess ink doesn't run and bleed outside the lines. It'll go into the cardstock below. We'll start with our nose. There's just no getting around needing a pumpkin pie colored nose. It doesn't matter what color palette you're working with. We'll start with the hat. So this is the dark smoky slate. And I'd like to color the hat as if the light is just coming from behind him. Well, I guess not. I don't give a whole lot of thought to where my light source is coming from. Probably should, but it's crafting. It's supposed to be fun. So just blend those in a little bit found that when I was using basic black, it was a little too dark. And we're using very light colors here, so I don't want it to be a stark difference. So for my bows, when you're coloring with blends, if you're new to alcohol markers, you always wanna start with either a small section or you wanna work fairly quick. This is if you want to conserve ink. I mean, if you want to keep going over the same spots over and over again, then be my guest. But I want to conserve my ink. So if you blend it while it's still wet, you just go over it the one time. That being said, you can add depth by going over the same part multiple times. Just a nice subtle bow. And while we have this out, we're going to do his scarf as well. So while I'm coloring this, I just, I'll do some housekeeping 
items instead of waiting until the end of the video. Uh, the extra extra promotion is still going strong. So if you have ever thought about joining Stampin' Up! and you live in Canada, uh, I would love to welcome you to my team. You pay $135 plus one tax, free shipping, and you choose $205 in product. Now this is until August 31st. And then in the month of September, you get a $14 voucher to spend. So it's awesome. And you can order from the holiday catalog, which is fantastic. Now I have placed my pre-order, but I'm not going to be focusing a lot on that because unless you are a Stampin' Up! demo, you can't use that stuff yet. So I will throw in a sneak peek project maybe once a week, but I will be focusing on items that you can still get. Going back to the promotion, if you have any questions, please just shoot me an email. I would love to help. I know when my upline asked me, it took me a few times, so I totally get it if you hear about this and you're like, no. But let me just tell you that my team are, so far, all in it for the discount. I run it as my side hustle because I do have a full-time job, but just know that you don't have to make this a business. You don't have to run classes. You can use it strictly for your own discount. And with this holiday catalog coming that has so many incredible products, you're gonna want a discount, my friend. Now, you might be wondering why I'm just coloring the scarf plain, flat with no blending. I'm gonna show you a little trick at the end. A hack, if you will. Uh, also, bonus days. It's the redemption period, so if you earn bonus day coupons in July, you can redeem them anytime this month. I think they actually expire in October, so you got lots of time. Okay, so with this light smoky slate, here's our little hack. We're going to just draw a line down the side of the scarf. And this adds a nice shadow without having to do a whole bunch of blending or working super fast to get your colors on there so that you can blend them. How easy was that? So there's one more step on here, but we're going to attach this first to our scalloped oval. You don't need a lot of glue. And just eyeball that. You, with Tombow, you always have a few seconds to make any adjustments. And remember I said I had a plan. We're going to attach this here. How cute is this? Um, and that means we only need glue on this half. because anything on the other side would then get stuck here and it wouldn't open, which is not what you want. I'm just gonna hold that down. And I think the Flirty Flamingo Light doesn't end up being really the same pink. So I'm just gonna go over these super quick. It looks like a different pink altogether, so. Note to self, most colors you can use on their own, but this one just doesn't look flirty flamingo-ish on its own. So we are now going to use Dazzling Diamonds. Don't mind the glitter on there. And I apologize, this isn't a current item, but you can get two-way glue pens. So what I like to do is just add a little bit of sparkle to his hat. You could also add a little bit to the center of those bows. You could add it anywhere. You could add it to the ground, anywhere. Just gives it that little finishing touch. And just shake it back into your container. If you have any little bits that aren't going, you can brush them off. 
Remember I said I had a little bit of glue there? It wants to stick. There we go. It does look super cute with that little bit of glitter on there. So this is just an adhesive eraser from the Dollar Tree. You never want to use this when the glue is still wet, which is why when I said it oozed out that we would get to it later, it will tear your cardstock to bits if you try and do it while it's still wet. One more little tiny thing. Right now our snowman is just kind of floating there, so let's give him some ground. I haven't done this on any of the other ones. It's just this one seems a little more obvious for some reason. So I'm just using my color lifter to soften that up. Cute. One other thing you could do is add a little bit of um, frost white shimmer to this. And instead of giving it a whole bunch of spritzes, what I like to do is I spray it just off camera, so I would spray it off to the side and then swoop it in so it's very delicate. So I can't show you that part, but all I did was spray it into the air and then I swoop and try and catch it. So there is just a tiny little bit on there. I doubt that you can even see it, but it is on there. And it looks so cute. So that is it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this first video in the Creating for Christmas series. Like I said, we will have one video each and every week that features a holiday themed card or project. So I should show you. <laughs> this is just uh, like a dummy card. Fits right in there. And who doesn't need gift cards at Christmas or birthdays or any time of year? So it fits in a standard A2 size envelope. You've got your gift card in there. You can write your greeting in there. It's perfect. And it didn't take us long. I mean, the most time was spent on coloring, right? And look how cute it is. So I hope that I have given you some inspiration with this Lots of Cheer stamp set. It is super fun if you love to color. Uh, if you order this with me this week, and this week is, get ready for a blast of summer. So it is Monday, August 5th. If you order this with me by end of day, Sunday, August 11th, I will throw in a combo pack of blends as I show you one that isn't a combo pack. So any color of your choice. And actually that is, um, it, I'm giving away the farm here because <laughs> the discount that I would get on this does not cover a pack of blends, but I want you to be able to give this a try. So order this with me this week and I will throw in a combo pack of blends in your choice of colors. My ordering special for the week. So thank you so much for joining me, my crafty friends. I hope that you will tune in each and every week for my creating with creating for Christmas series. And we'll see you soon, my crafty friends. Bye.